introduce yourself. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, as, start again. Frank Molinaro, Arizona State assistant wrestling coach here. Just going to show my favorite setup and footwork for a split step high crotch. Some people call it an outside step, some people call it a um, split step, so I'll show you what it is. So the setup is really basic. This guy's grabbing the collar tie, right? He, get, he keeps getting control of the collar tie. So what I'll do is I'll block it with a bent arm. So my arm is bent like this. So he goes to grab the lock right at the bend of the arm. So my arm is bent and my elbow is up here. I block and then I'm gonna throw this hand over and catch. So one more time, block, catch. Again, block, catch. Once I catch the inside here, I jump to the shot. So my feet are gonna come up off the ground for a second. This foot's gonna step back and a little bit to the right so I can get below here. So, And then the last part of it, so my footwork, here, pushing off this foot. Once I get to here, now I just gotta commit my hips. So I'll go at like 10% speed, but the setup is block, catch. Block, catch, jump. Block, catch, jump. Bend arm, block, catch, jump. Block, catch, jump. Last one. Block, catch, jump. And it helps too. So from this angle, so we're straight up here. He grabs my head when I block. It helps to lean into this side, just a hair. So the step is to the side and backwards. Kind of float this foot. This foot floats, and as soon as it lands, this foot's gonna, this drive becomes a drive leg, and this one's stepping deep. Stepping as close as I can to this foot and then committing my hips. So step to the side a little bit. Well, what's your finish for? Finish is always double leg. So if I hit here and I feel like I'm gonna get stuck on my knees, I'll drop both my knees down and pop up. And now I'm gonna start chasing double leg. If he goes chest lock. Chest lock, and he starts squatting, he starts to take me forward, I'll let go and post, pick the foot up, shelf, pop back up, double leg. That's a good one, yep. Four, I tell my guys I stay velcro here, and I try to look for his shoulder, look for his far shoulder with my eyes. So you either lift here, rub the pipe, or cut the hole. And sometimes I don't even have to go off the ground, so when I do the outside step, I try to push them down with my head. Here. And slide behind. Does that make sense? Yeah, either pop them up right away. Here. Shelf the foot. Chase double leg. Here. Look for his far shoulder, so you're using your head to push him down. So you can get way to the far side, cut double. Lift, lift on one leg. Run the fight. Double leg tackle. I, I feel like outside step is becoming more popular at the international level. What do you, what's your, what's your thoughts on that versus the inside step? So, I like the outside step because it's faster and a little bit sneakier, and I can shoot it from a square stance. So I'm a left leg lead. You know, you're ready, you know I'm ready to fire a high crotch here. You know, but when I lull you to sleep in the hand, putting them in the square stance, at any point I can block, catch, right here, you know, versus this. But I like inside step better. I get more four pointers. I get to my feet way easier. You know, if you have good penetration steps here, then you're getting your hips all the way into here. So you're in a great position to get to your feet and lift. And uh, I feel like the inside step finishes on the feet more. I could be wrong. And then I think the outside step, is you gotta be a little bit more experienced. If you're gonna use it in three stops, you have to be able to defend chest lock, wing crack down, beat crotch lift. You know, so a lot of people, they try to go low on you when you go 
outside step, so you got to be good at ground finishes. So. What, about, what, what about taking a big step in your high project versus just, just starting it and so, not taking a step? I take a big step if the leg is far back. You know, so wrestling a guy in the summer one year and his leg was really far back, so I get to my five here. And I'm teed up. I mean, my footwork's good. I've got my best set up. You know, I just take a cheat step. I just call it a cheat step here. And then I'm trying to set it so far as I can. Then reach for the leg. And e even on my knee pound and some step, I try to throw my knee out in front of me here. And it'll slide a little bit further. And there. So it's. And I do this drill, like I do line drills, where I basically just go side step, back step. Cheat step, shot, run it down. So I'm going in the line, stalking forward, side step, half step, cheat step. And to run it down, if I have my partner and I'm doing it, I'll be high crotch up, run it, pick him up to a double and run three steps because it just reinforces like all the way to my feet and do the shot. It's, it's, uh, it's, it does take some energy to do the video. It does. It's just a little bit extra, but it's worth it at the end of the day. So, so go, ahead, go ahead and do a full strength like you feel how you're doing the welding drill. So the welding drill, kind of twisting the shoulders to start. So when I twist the shoulders, I take my hand off the head, right? This is kind of tight. This elbow's tight. This elbow can't be out here. You'll punch an underhook all day and duck. So I take my hand off the head and keep this elbow tight. This one is kind of pulling, and now you can see I twist the shoulders. Hand off the head, elbow tight, pulling here, and kind of almost opening them up, pushing into them, pause. Now I can try to go back to my collar tie and cross the head and the arm with my head low and pull in circle. Here, pause. I can jam them back forward, twist the shoulders, pause. I can squeegee this hand to the armpit without even taking weight off. Drop the head, pull in circle. Oh look, now I'm on the other side. Twist the shoulders, pull in circle, armpit, collar tie. You're trying to get back to your lefty high crotch. I am, so when I'm trying to get over to that side and get that foot in front closer to me. When you started with the low girl, you got here, and right here. Yeah, and then once I get all the way over there, so you can do on the wrist too. You could be blocking, you could be pushing the elbow across, or you can even take this off and have the elbow as the right side. But crossing, armpit, I can jam. Try to get back to this side. There it is. Yeah, that's what I call it. Rehearsal. Try to get my guys crossing on. So the head thing is huge too. Like, even though I've got it all the way here and I probably could shoot, like just this shot, you might be able to head block, yep, yep. cross block, but once I wrestle this hand and trade it off, yeah. you got nothing wrong. Even if I don't shoot, if I just reach this and pull the leg back, look how great that was. Now I really got the off balance and I can go right back to that same pattern. Thank you. Okay, so the matching leads and uh, the fire feet thing. So is this just about pulling and shaving your leads? This, this, this action of your feet? Or is you pulling this one back? And pulling this? So, no, I think I simplify it by just thinking kind of like three things. The first and most simple one is just to pull this back leg forward. Because the more times I pull this back leg forward, I've got double leg, single leg, high crash fireman's, low single, every shot. You know, so this, you hear this, And get the guy's feet moving. That would be number two. Is pull his back leg forward, pull him into a square stance. My most perfect scenario is to get him to step in reach. I try to rehearse where I can get him to do this type of stuff, or even just this type of stuff now, where he's reaching up to the tie up, where I can block, catch, and go. Once that elbow is up, I'm getting to that leg. So get his feet moving, pull his back leg forward. Here, pushing, pulling, 
pushing, pulling. Don't stay in a tie up for more than a second. Keep your hands busy, keep your feet moving. And you know, the best way to control the tie up is to attack and to really just be busy hands, hands and feet moving. And then the last thing is if I can't move his feet well, you know, this guy, and I can't pull his back leg forward, then I'm trying to do a setup where I can just get weight on his feet. For example, let's just say that you follow me here and I'm shuffling down my spine. We're here square and we shuffle sideways. Here like this, I shuffle back, grab the head, one snap, and fire shots off. So that was an example of getting weight on the feet without getting too, because I can't move you, right. can't move your feet, can't pull your back leg forward, can barely control your arms, but I can find different ways. Well, snap, to get weight on the feet. That's just getting me, and, and what did it do? It made you move your feet. A lot of those guys are just so strong that you can't control their arms. So it's like, instead of caring so much about that, because you're not going to feel your attacks, you're not going to their spot, get their feet moving, and then have something with anticipation, something real deliberate where you can so if we grab and go. Way, and, then, and then I can move back this way, and then it's simple. Or yes. Or step away and back the other way. Yeah, watch, uh, watch when I wrestle that. Jimmy Kennedy, the okay. first like 10 seconds, because okay. he's real strong, yes. the strongest guy I've ever wrestled. And I was like, I don't want to grab a hold of him, I can't shoot on him. So I was like, eventually, I'm going to get him to follow me on a lateral line, and eventually, like, he might be on the edge, and I'll get him to circle this way. And I know he wants to get, he wants to grab me with this hand, so as he grabs me with that hand, I'm circling him in this direction, grab my head. You know, so we were going this direction, this direction, but I knew eventually I'd be going this direction and grab my head. And it looked like the easiest takedown ever. It was like one second. But it was all just getting him to follow. His feet were light. Here we're just like, squeeze him. Squeeze him. Okay, one more thing. Put the turn off.